backwards here. I'm going to get you um, or wait for you, give you a chance to get on in a few minutes because this is not the normal time we do this. Normally we are at noon central time. <coughs> Pardon me. So I'm going to give you an opportunity to get on. Let me know that you're there. Let me know that you can hear me and let me know that you can see me. And we are back in our Jesus and You series. Oh, Rachel, there you are. You can see me. You can hear me. Give me a good thumbs up or something like that. And we will get started. Hi, Howdy. Oh, thank you, Rachel. So we are able to get going. Hi, Kimberly. So, you know, we're doing this series, Christ in Every Book in the Bible, if you can see that. Um, Oral Roberts, uh, I can see and hear you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited. Yes, I am excited to be back. Long story, but here I am. I'm back. We're going. Um, Christ in every book in the Bible. Now, this is my copy, and my copy was from the 70s. But if you go online, oralroberts.com, oralroberts.com, I believe that you'll still be able to get uh, you'll still be able to order your copy, oralroberts.com, Christ in every book in the Bible. This particular one that I've got in my hand. I don't know if those are all the ones that are being uh, sent out when you order them. We've had to, um, what's the word, um, reprint them. And so this is special 50th anniversary edition. So I'm telling you, this book has been going around since I want to say, let me see if I can find it. First one printed were, was 1975. So 85, 95, 2005, 2015. It's 45 now. Let's see. 70, 75, 85, 95, 2005, 2015, 2020, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, we have reprinted this book so many times, but this one started out many, many, oh, 1965, I can't read. First printing, 1965, there you have it. And um, this one is the 50th anniversary special. Uh, edition, I'm sorry. And then uh, I don't know which one is on the website, oralroberts.com. Take a look. And we are going to get excited, I believe, because we're going to go to Philippians. I'm not saying it's my favorite book in the Bible, but, you know, I always say that about all of them, but it's one of my big favorites. And in Philippians, it says, can you read it? He supplies all of our needs. So that means if you were expecting a miracle, I want to talk to you about the one that said he supplies all of our needs, Philippians 4, 19. Before you get your pen, paper, Bible, notes, Philippians 4, 19, I do want to tell you, oralroberts.com, go to bookstore, my Philippians notes, there they are, they are online, and they're free, you can download them. The reason I do that for you to download is so you can add your own notes to them. And I'm so glad to be back here today. And I want to read you in Philippians. One of the main reasons why I chose this today. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you. I am so glad to be back with you. I'm so, 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 so glad to be back with you today. Upon my every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, making requests for you with all joy. What have I been calling this? Jump for joy in January. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. For those of you who have kind of hung out with me doing this, uh, this post over and over and over, usually at noon, Monday through Friday. We haven't been able to get that much done this week. But I tell you what, I am so glad. Somebody added it up. BB, thank you, 54 years. Adding today has been, it's been one of my challenges. Um, so anyway, he said this. I thank God for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this very thing. Oh boy, is this jump for joy in January when you hear this, I think. That he who has begun a good work in you will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. He who has begun a good work, one translation says, is also faithful to complete it. I believe God wants us to jump for joy in January. This is not about politics. This is not about COVID-19. This is not about the stock market or the economy. This is about jumping for joy in January as a spiritual act saying, this is me talking about me. A spiritual act for me to jump for joy in January because I am determined to believe God and expect a miracle. 
End of story. I, you know, do things always go my way? No, I'm 65. Things very rarely ever go my way all the time. But I'm telling you what happens. I can pray. I can believe. And just because I didn't get everything in the little ducks in a row, I like my ducks in a row. But just because every duck didn't go in a row, no, God's still God. He hasn't fallen off the throne. I'm still praying. Philippians 1, 2. Is also or one twelve. I'm sorry. Also wonderful. I want to. I want you to know, brethren, what has happened to me actually have turned out for the furtherance of the gospel. No matter what comes, no matter what goes, it's for furthering the gospel. Now, Philippians two. We're kind of breezing through this because my notes are online. Philippians two five through thirteen. Let this be in your mind, which is in Christ Jesus. He talks about being, therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now even more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who works in you both will and to do for his good pleasure. It's not about man. It's not about things. It's not about what we expect or what we don't expect or COVID or this or that. It's about God. And I tell you what, I have in 65 years, I have faced things like surgery, the death of a child and, and many other things. But I have to look to God who is the author and finisher of my faith. And today I have been just going around jumping for joy in January. Now I'm not physically jumping. I'm jumping in my spirit. I'm jumping in my soul. I'm jumping in my expectation. But one thing I want to make sure I jump and get to is Philippians 4. Because I'll tell you something. I, I can't I want to just stop and keep going through everyone. But Philippians is very small. And if you do order your book, go to the book of Philippians where he is the one who supplies all you need. Let me put it to you right here. It's actually page 89. He is, he is the God who supplies all our need. My God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now this is by my father-in-law, Oral Roberts. My God, it's awfully easy to look to people rather than to God and expect them to solve your problems. But it's hard when they let you down. It's so easy to get encouraged when there's prosperity in the land and things are going good for you. And then it's easy to get discouraged when there's depression or recession in the land. But it can be a mistake to look at life this way because it that is not our source. Our source is no other, is not in other people and not in the economy. The Bible says our source is in God. Now, Philippians 4 Let's do the whole thing through 13 through 19, maybe. Maybe Philippians 4. Yeah, let's do 13 through 19. Why not? Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. It goes on to talk about, nevertheless, you have done well that you did that you did share in my, one thing says affliction, my distress. And he said, for my need to carry on the gospel, you sent once and again unto my account. Not that I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. And when you talk about that, he said that your sacrifice was acceptable, well-pleasing to God. A acceptable, well-pleasing to God is amazing because it says in order to please God, Hebrews 11, without faith, it's impossible to please God. So if it's acceptable and well-pleasing to God, it's full of faith, according to Hebrews 11. So then he goes on to say, now, Philippians, you know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. Now, these are letters that Paul writes to different churches, to the church, um, he, to the church, the Colossian church, we get the book of Colossians, to the church at Philippi, we get the book of Philippians, to the book in Ephesus, we get the book of Ephesians. And these letters had different personalities because the churches he was writing them to had different personalities, different needs, different things going on within their city, within their churches. So then he turns around and he says, for now you Philippians know that when I departed in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed to Macedonia, no church. So he's only writing this to the Philippians for this reason. 
No church shared with me concerning giving and receiving, but you only. So he is talking specifically about what they did and what God wanted to do for them and through them and with them because they were in a category different than other churches. For even in Thessalonica, you sent once and again unto my necessity. Not that I desire a gift, but that I desire fruit that may abound to your account. I am indeed, I have all, I am abound, I am full, I have received from Epaphroditus, that was the messenger, the things that were sent from, from you, a sweet smelling aroma, an acceptable sacrifice, well pleasing to God. Full of faith, Hebrews 11. Then here's the part I want to get so excited about. Philippians 4.19. To this group, because he was saying to you Philippians only, to you Philippians, my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. When you do your part, when you pray, when you sow, when you give, when you do the, the things that God is requiring of you, you, of you to do, when you are in obedience, let's call it that way. He was saying as a church that was operating in the things of God, my God shall supply all your needs. Well, now it's easy in this day and age that if you get sick, you can get into fear. You can get into worry. You can wonder about insurance, which all that's accurate. You can get into wonder. You can get into praise. You can get into worship. You can get into giving. You can get into sowing and reaping. You can get into turmoil. You can get into despair. You can get into a lot of things in a lot of ways in a lot of places. But he said, my God, isn't that exciting? My God shall supply all, A-L-L, all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. That may be one of the most exciting scriptures I've ever read in my entire life. My God, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength, and I have a Bible right to believe that my God, capital G, shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now, having said that, let's go to my God and talk to him about his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There is no lack, no sin, no sorrow, no disease, no fear, no torment. What we bind on earth is bound in heaven. What we loose on earth is loosed in heaven. And it is time for us to ask my God, your God, our God, to supply all, A-L-L, -L, all our needs, spiritual, physical, financial, emotional, in your family, whatever it is according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus, we have a Bible right to it. Why? Because Jesus said so in Matthew when he talked about the Lord's Prayer, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth exactly as it is in heaven. And in heaven, there is no COVID, sickness, disease, sorrow, sin, lack. So let's believe that God is going to get into our atmosphere and as we pray to expect a miracle. Okay, so Lupe praying for your friend uh, with cancer in Ann Arbor. Pamela praying for you and praying for your daughter. Uh, Lorraine, I am praying for you and expecting a miracle. Expect, expect, expecting a miracle in the name of Jesus. I'm expecting my God to supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So as you leave me a prayer request, we're going to continue to pray. Uh, 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 oralroberts.com. Oralroberts.com. It's okay to use the stock market to get help in troubled times. Listen, I believe my God supplies all of our need. I'm not going to limit him to how we can do it in a, in a quirky way. Listen, I might not have written this in the Bible. It might not have been the way I would have done something. But God said whatever's in, in your hand, he wants to, how to say it in the Old Testament, bless whatever is in your hands. Think about something that happened. Jesus needed to pay his taxes. And as he needed to pay his taxes, he found fun, uh, 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 coins, money in a fish's mouth. Would I have done it that way? No, I would have never thought of that. God can do it his way. He supplies. Um, Patty praying for your daughter with COVID on her birthday. Cheryl, praying for healing and wellness. Lorraine, praying for our nation. Wendy, praying for you. OralRoberts.com, been dealing with chaotic mind and heart today. Um, anxiety, I pray for peace to come in. Grace, 
La Cherie, Lupe, for your brother, uh, husband and your finances, I didn't see the name, Lou, praying for your son, uh, Brandon, praying for God to take control for healing, Laverne, Shannon, Lorraine, Susan, for your son, that, sons that need a job, Marlene, I am praying for debt to be taken care of, not just a, a job for your sons, I'm praying for a great job, a God job, Grace, thank you for praying for healing for the people on this feed, uh, Sophie, Christine, for your son, Anthony, Kathy, for your finances and protection, Erlene, love my top, thank you very much, it's a little bit older, but hey, I like it, thank you, Patty, Joyce, Donna, Lorraine, your brother-in-law with lung cancer, to go, 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 go in Jesus' name, um, Grace, money to come for those who are in need of it, and, and uh, oralroberts.com, or um, 918-495-7777. Libby, for your cousin Melissa, I think it said. Jill, praying for people with stomach acid reflux, praying high blood pressure, spinal problems, all to be healed. Julia, praying for you. Thomas, praying for your family and peace of mind in these times. The Bible talks about the men of Ishakar who were men who had understanding of the signs of the times to know what Israel ought to do. I think God has people praying and they will know what to do. Shannon, Linda, thank you, Shannon, very much. Praying for your lungs, Linda. OralRoberts.com. Chi or Che, praying for your son, Nehemiah. Maris, praying for your eyes or colorblindness. Sonia, praying for your son, Michael. Uh, praying to be healed in your liver. Amen, amen, amen. OralRoberts.com or 918-495-7777. You'll find the book, um, Christ in Every Book in the Bible, where I'm taking this from. In addition, you'll find my notes. My notes are free. You can download them. Um, Bridget, praying for a four-year-old boy in ICU with cancer. In Jesus' name, I pray for healing. Lorraine, thank you. Praying for you. Kenny, praying in agreement to find the right place to live. Nina, praying for you. Rachel, praying for you. David, praying for a financial miracle in the fish mouth. Hey, I'm telling you, God can supply us any way God wants to. Peggy, Marissa, praying for Dennis, your daughter, your sister, her husband to be healed. I pray for COVID to go, go, go. Lupe, thank you for that. 918-495-7777. 77 is the Abundant Life Prayer Group. OralRoberts.com is the uh, website. And I pray that you will look that up. And lots of things on there. Lots of material that you can look for resources. Lots of material that you can uh, download for free. Lauren, happy Thursday. Amen. I called my friend today and said, it's time for us to jump for joy in January. And I am keeping that up. Nora, praying for you praying for your any weaknesses to be healed. Jamie, praying for you and your family. Rachel, praying for you. Peggy, praying for you. Praying for uh, 1 Peter 2.24. Rachel, Patricia, praying for you and your family. Angie, praying for your brother for right leg healing. Nina, amen. So let it be written. So let it be established in Jesus' name. Lauren, fabulous faith filled February on the way. Lauren, Amen to that. I'm in agreement. I love it. Peggy, praying for you. Fabulous. Faith filled February on the way and jump for joy in January. Uh, Jean, praying for your foot to be healed. Left and right foot to be healed. Elizabeth, yes, praying for God to bless the people on this feed. Nina, praying for you. Joan, praying for you. Shannon, amen in agreement. Matthew 18, 18 and 19. Uh, all the way 10 through 20. Agreement. In Jesus' name, Lupe, praying for you. Thank you, oralroberts.com. Thank you, Lupe. Lorraine, Lorraine, praying for your sister who's had a stroke. In Jesus' name, I don't know if you can hear it, but I have one of my dogs at my feet. And this bird, every time I come in here to pray, this bird comes to the window. So I giggle about it, but I'm telling you what, we are attracting the anointing. I pray, I pray. Melita, praying for a healing in your body, your foot and your leg. In Jesus' name. The other day, I talked about a dream. I've been having some of the most amazing prophetic dreams. Um, one of them was 18 pages long. I didn't share all the 18 pages. Some of it was directly for Richard and I shared it with him. But uh, if you stay on the, or the Facebook that you're seeing it on, go look up some of those words. And when you see them, expect, expect, 
expect a miracle as God shows it to you. Sheila, praying for you. Thank you for praying for me. Shannon, praying for you. Lauren, God laid that on your heart. Fabulous and faith-filled February. Come on, you guys. Let's go into agreement with that. Nina, Thomas, that was a good word. You see, God's filling the atmosphere. Carrie, praying for you and your for your husband for miracles. Peggy, Nehemiah 8.10, amen. Vicki, praying for your family. Christine, for COVID symptoms, symptoms to leave this earth. Laverne, Sarah, Kathy, Margaret, for uh, cancer in your sister's liver and eye to be healed. Kathy, healing from MS, heart, finances, place to live for a high school friend. Be healed, be healed, be healed, and a great place to live. Jean, for your granddaughter, Jessica, for that cold to be healed. Cher, or Sherry, uh, for you to be healed. Cheryl, healing for you. Maria, Joy, Joan, Barbara, be healed, be healed, be healed. Fran, be healed. If I, if I uh, didn't call it, send it back to me. I can only read so fast. <laughs> Leah, healing for your kidneys. Peggy, I'm expecting a miracle with you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Lupe, praying for a golden retriever puppy. Listen, is there anything too difficult for God? Mylita, Patty, um, Thomas, uh, John, I couldn't read it, read it fast enough. Gloria, Cindy, Christine, for your granddaughter. Um, I am believing for family miracles in Jesus' name. I'm going to turn my head. Zuko, you're okay, buddy. That's my dog. Um, jump for joy in January and faith-filled, fabulous February. Good words. Um, Annette, praying for you. Autism in a son. I didn't see the name. Send that back to me. And I'll be happy to call that out. But we're praying for that son to be healed. Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Nina, pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Thomas, praying for you. Brenda, for God to give you confirmation. Uh, Jean, you are very welcome. Sandra, car, finances, breakthrough. Maris, from neuropathy pain. Leah, amen, amen, amen. Barbara, for emotional healings in Jesus' name. I am praying for God to arise, enemies to be scattered. What is your homework? Not in the whole book of Philippians, but especially Philippians 4, 13. Walter, for your son, Autumn, his name is Will. We got Walter, we are praying for Will to be totally and completely healed. Maria, prayer for fibromyalgia to be healed. Gita, praying for you. Good evening and praying for you back. Sarah, for your son, for asthma to go, for children, education. Brenda, um, cirrhosis, uh, for your liver to be healed in Jesus' name. Um, for your family to come so close to Jesus. Myra, for the deed to come to your home now. And yes, that is my dog. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, but just say, it's okay, Zuko. Zuko is a real baby. She was a rescue, and she's just a baby, and I think she's just precious. So we just sometimes have to let her be your own person, dog. Uh, Cynthia, finances. Um, for Paul, I think it said Paul Jr., Donna, Brenda, for candy to be healed, Susan, Linda, for addictions, better health, children. And if I miss your name, please, please send it back to me. I apologize. Laverne, miracles on the way. Claim them. The Lord has been talking to me when we used to say, you know, people make fun of name it and claim it. And the Lord said, I gave that to you for you to decree, declare, and to believe God for it. In Jesus' name, Lupe, thank you. Oh, good. Uh, phone number 918-495-7777. Pain in the body to go and head to go. Mike, be healed. John, uh, praying for you. Thank you very much. All the way from Columbia. Nancy, hip, femur, nerves for your son, uh, your family to be at peace. Cheryl, praise the Lord and hallelujah. Nina, Philippians 4.13. Amen, amen. My God shall supply all my need and... And I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen, amen. That's your homework, <laughs> Philippians 4, 13 through 19. And if you go online, uh, Brenda, for Luke in a rehab center, learning to walk again from stroke. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, Luke. Um, OralRoberts.com, go to the bookstore and, and hunt down my notes. In fact, I put all the notes from all we've done so far. They're free. You can download them. Brenda, I think it said Garth, Nicole. 
praying for protection and healing, healing for your body, healing in every way. I call it spiritual, physical, financial, healing in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus, again, 918-495-7777 or roberts.com. Please feel free to share this. Uh, uh, Vicki, a friend who needs a special healing touch for and for your family. Um, Diana, I think it said di- a dental work and the finances for it. Fibola, praying for you. I hope I said that. Or Fabiola, I hope I said that right. Brenda, not to be dull-minded, need God to intervene. Debbie, praying for you to be healed. Nana or Nina, I think it's Nina. And then the next name I didn't see, please send those back to me. Peggy, for a friend with back pain. Jean, uh, a noisy upstairs neighbors. I am praying for peace in your household. Patty, um, creative miracle, lipedema and neuropathy. Be healed, be healed, be healed, and creative miracle in Jesus' name. Sandy, healing for your throat. Rebecca, praying for your husband with COVID. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Eva or Ava, praying for you in Jesus' name. OralRoberts.com, go get the go to bookstore and get those notes and really start putting it into your spirit for God to supply your need. Garcia, financial breakthrough. Fabiola, praying for daughter and son reunite, come together. Praise the Lord for family miracles. Um, Linda, praying for all God's children. Very good, Linda. Garcia, for your uh, 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 husband who's out of work to be employed wonderfully. The one on stress and anxiety. Send that back to me, please. Donna, Brenda, uh, nagging pain in your head to go. Jeanette, diabetes, you and your husband. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Blood sugar, line up. Numbers line up with the word of God. Rhonda, amen. And as you send them back, I just want you to know I love to go through these even sometimes throughout the day. I just go through them. Brenda, healing for your whole body. I like that from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed and made totally whole. Ava, in agreement with those prayers. Thank you. Bridget, pray for you right now in Jesus' name. Julie, prayers for stress and anxiety to go and be healed. Now the dog wants to play with the bird. All right, you two, you're hilarious. Kristen, praying for you to get some rest. I pray for you to get me. Amen to that. Sharon in, in Orlando, praying for you. Lorraine, Philippians uh, 4, 13 through 19. Philippians 4, 13 through 19. You can do the whole book. It's very small. But homework is Philippians 4, 13 through 19. Sherry, financial mi- miracle diagnosed with ALS and not working. Be healed in every area. Physical, financial, spiritual. Lauren, Linda, I am praying for total. I like that word. Look at Lauren. Total wholeness. Ashley in Toronto, praying for you. Brenda, praying for you. Issues uh, for legal issues to be dealt with. Hard to go where it belongs. Um, Patty, see sweet Zuko. Come here, Zuko. Where are you? She may have gone off to chase and pray and play with the bird. Fabio, Jeanette, they play with each other. The bird's outside and Zuko's inside and they play with each other. Paula, believing for family restoration and miracles. Zuko, come here, baby. Um, Paula, I am expecting a miracle for you and with you. Elizabeth, praying for you in every area. Catherine, praying for healing. Look at Catherine, Catherine Angel Victory. Now there is something to declare. I like that. June, praying for allergies, sinuses, uh, burning to be healed. Cheryl, praying for your teeth and your mouth. Terry, good afternoon, Terry, praying for you in Jesus' name. OralRoberts.com, go to the bookstore, download the notes on Philippians. You can download all the notes that are on there. They're all free. Teresa, healing from artery disease and set free from smoking in Jesus' name. I am praying for all of your need to be met, Philippians 4.19, according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. OralRoberts.com, 918-495-7777. Praying for our country, praying for peace and truth. Sam, praying for you. Linda, praying for you. Debbie, praying for the position that you have need of for great great job from God. Catherine, healed of COVID in Jesus' name. That's my prayer. Osteoarthritis, Jeanette. Laverne, praying for you and be totally well to go back to work. Terry, in agreement for family restoration. Marie, 
praying for you. Wilma, praying for you. Sorry, you guys, Zuko just took off. Bless her heart. Like I said, she's kind of a little rescue and she's kind of just precious. Marie, Wilma, praying for you. Kathy, your son, Tom, aneurysm, addiction, salvation, all of those prayer requests be healed. Uh, Sybil, Debbie, Tammy, for your whole family, for all your needs to be met in Jesus' name. 918-495-7777, oralroberts.com. Wilma, I'm praying for you. I love that, Zuko. So do I. Fabiola, prayers for your entire body in Jesus' name. Brenda, praying for diabetes, vascular and heart. Sherry, praying for you all to be healed. Penelope, I think it was, for uh, stone, I think it said kidney stones, be healed, be healed, be healed. Uh, Paula, God made me look younger. So I pray for that one. That's for sure for all of us. <laughs> Linda, uh, yes. Pray for your friend Fabiola. Amen. Marie. Thank you. Susan, father, uh, father and uh, d yes, father, deliver the children. Elizabeth, complete healing to go back to work. June, financial burdens to be lifted in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. 918-495-7777. OralRoberts.com. What's your homework? Philippians 4, 13 through 19. And I will be back hopefully again tomorrow. Bye-bye for now.